Hello everyone, I'm very excited to show you how to build this terrarium desktop computer. The purpose of this build is mainly decorative and can be easily integrated into your next interior design project. The computer configuration is Processor Ryzen 5 2600, Motherboard Gigabyte B450M, Graphics Card ASUS Radeon RX 470, 16GB internal memory. Terrarium green elements are preserved wall moss, artificial grass, dried green moss, artificial dried moss, artificial green moss stone, stones. You can find links in the description. I carefully measured the inside of the case in order to build a polystyrene wall that will cover all computer components. Keep in mind to leave a few centimeters gap between polystyrene wall and components to ensure case airflow. I use liquid cooling to keep the components height to a minimum. After I cut the wall, I added some details to vary the moss height. I painted the entire wall using earth-like colors. Also, I painted the graphic card case all of them will be covered in moss, but if there are small gaps, the colors underneath will mask it.
This the support painted and dry, I started adding the moss and grass using a strong industrial adhesive that cures in minutes. I repeated the same process for the graphics card, but this time I used paper tape because I want to reuse the card in the next projects. To illuminate the case, I used RGB light strips and fans. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe!
Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to show you how to decorate your desktop computer case glass panel with hand-painted stained glass. Using this technique, any computer case can be transformed into something cool and unique. First of all, you will need to find a stained glass model that you can use to measure the glass. Make sure the model fits well on your glass dimensions. In my case, the side glass is curved, so I measured it unwrapped and I used Adobe Illustrator to position and print a template. You can do the same for the front panel. Using black acrylic silicone, I carefully trace the lines over the glass. After you draw the lines, the silicone needs a few hours to cure. With a soft brush, I start painting the glass using transparent alcohol-based paint. This paint works well for both transparent glass and acrylic panels. You can find the materials I've used in the description. I'm using two colors, yellow and orange. If you want to achieve more color tones, you can paint multiple layers. I chose these two colors because it works best with my RGB lights.
To illuminate the case, I used four RGB strips and three RGB fans. You can use more if you want more light. The final light effect is different than RGB effect because the light is filtered and you can achieve more color combinations. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe.
In this video, I will show you how to convert an old laptop into a decorative desk terrarium computer that can be used as a hidden DVR recorder for your surveillance cameras. I bought a cheap ASUS Aspire laptop with broken display and used the components. I started by cutting a rectangular hole in a table and then began building a new case for the laptop components. Next, I painted the table in matte black to contrast with the green terrarium and LED lights. then mounted the components at the bottom of the case.
I created a secondary case for the terrarium and LED lights. To create the terrarium, I used green moss, moss pebbles, and a sea rock, gluing them all in place. Next, I finished all the connections for the computer, LED, and a cooling fan. Adding some glass on top of the table. The desk can be used with or without the monitor and can be accessed remotely inside a LAN network. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe.
think I saw someone.